Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. So yesterday um, I've still got all these cards laid out on my table because I'm, I'm in the process of adding um, more information to the courses that I'm working on um, with my students and also just because I dive into tarot every day and see what I can discover. So yesterday I talked about uh, the twos in tarot and I just thought I would, while it's fresh in my mind, uh, talk to you about the threes. So of course I've got one of each suit as part of the three, uh, you know, family. And then on the top here we've got the two major arcana which also indicate the number three. So we have the empress and then we have the hanged man who is number 12. But obviously when you add one and two together you get three. Now it's interesting because... I don't really talk about the major arcana that much because I'm sort of saving that for my students. But at the end of the day, when we talk about threes, this is about, you know, um, creation and and coming together and co cooperation with others. Um, but it also indicates a healing, um, you know, with, with everything born, there is also um, death with everything, um, you know, that, that's a cycle within itself. I mean, and that's evident as well with the Empress and you look at the um, the other major arcana it sits with, which is the Hanged Man. It's kind of like a spiritual awakening, you know, um, you know, mothers who have children. It's almost like they've they've entered another phase in their life and it's almost like an awakening. Um, so you can akin it to that. But if we talk about just the threes in general, like uh, the three of uh, wands here, that's all about, again, um, in enterprise. Um, business, trade, uh, and your ships, as they say, the mundane, the ships are coming in. So what you've created and planned in, in the twos, if you want to check out my previous video uh, talking about the twos, you're starting to see uh, results. You're starting to see the um, work in which you've done. And then with the three of swords, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me. With the Three of Swords, um, we've got a healing taking place. So sometimes, obviously, we are um, com committed to something and it doesn't work out or we experience something and then we suffer as a result of wearing our heart on our sleeve. Um, that can also indicate the Three of Swords. Um, so, as you know, again, it's sort of like that process. If you look at the two cards directly above it, the way I've positioned it, um, in order for something, you know, for pain, you know, childbirth is quite painful. Um, you know, in order for something to be born, um, you know, we have to go through um, a rite of passage. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is obviously about three uh, celebration, um, sisterhood, three women coming together, um, the creativity uh, amongst three people who are seeing, um, you know, the good work that they've done. They're finally, again, they're seeing results and they're celebrating that. Um, traditionally as well, this card can indicate a wedding or an engagement, um, if you want to look at it that way. And then the final card with the pentacles is, is about that collaboration. Once again, um, working with others to build something for the greater good for the community, um, or it can indicate, um, the roof over your head, which is about, you know, shelter and, uh, refuge. And again, you know, could indicate the family home. Um, so guys, I hope you found this quick video on the threes um, interesting. Um, as I said, it was a bit of an impromptu video. Um, it's nothing special, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, check out my Instagram uh, and Facebook page. And if you'd like a personal reading, check out my website, newangeltarot.com, and I can give you a personal reading. Uh, all the information is there. So I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.